Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the sea, the ATL Don, checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Keep friend looks going to turn off. Talkin' that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we got two pickups locally here from Atlanta. Went by SunTrust Park to the Brace Clubhouse store. Picked up another SunTrust Park exclusive. Then also went by Town Center Mall, which is in Kennesaw, Georgia, on the outskirts of Atlanta. And uh, picked up a hat that was on clearance. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't my size, but it's one size under, so um, no problem with that. Got the hat stretcher to stretch it to make it work. Let's first get into the pickup we got from Lids. It was the 2017 4th of July hat. I hesitated too long on this. The previous years, whenever they had the specialty hats at Turner Field, the Braves' former home stadium, you used to be able to pick up stuff on clearance if you waited, you know, a month or two after, you know, they they wore the particular hat or jerseys for the special games. But uh, this hat sold out fast. And uh, I was SOL. Luckily, one of the lids in downtown Atlanta went, shut down and they transferred all their stock to the one in Kennesaw, and that's how they got this. Ended up having to get seven and a half. I wore seven to five eighths. I like how the A is done like in metal and it's got the stars and stripes in it. Very nice. I like the material, it has a really nice feel to it. I don't really know what kind of like um, kind of feel like those dry fit shirts maybe a little bit it's hard to say and it's got the new era flag logo done in metallic silver got the MLB logo in the back done in metallic silver but if you look really carefully you probably can't tell on the camera on the blue part it's got the stars in the blue section and got the stripes in the red section really nice detail got the red button on top red underbill this is the one cool detail the sweatband is done in red white and blue is like the flag and they have the sizing and the authentic MLB collection actually screen printed in instead of being sewn in the only patch sewn is the new era one in the middle very very nice happy to get this in the collection once again i got to resize it it was let's see what was the regular price it was 40 and with my uh, liz membership card it knocked eight dollars off it's dropped it down to 32 but then it bumped it back up to 33.92 once i paid sales tax I was thinking that was on clearance, but I guess it's not. Alright, the next pickup is an exclusive to SunTrust Park. They have several hats that you only can get there. This is a very, very dope exclusive. It's the Chief Nakahoma with the Screaming Indian. If you all recall, I think it was 2013, the Braves were going to bring back this logo for the BP hats. They folded under the pressure from the controversy, so they scrapped it. But uh, I find it rather odd that they, you know, fo folded under pressure from that. But in their clubhouse store, they'll still sell this controversial logo that everyone had a big fit over. But anyways, got this in seven and five eighths, red on white, new era flag, white, MLB logo on the back, red on white. Gray underbill. I like when they have gray underbills because it's a very clean look. Got the black sweatband. This one has the Cooperstown collection patch on this side, along with the 758 sizing. Just the new era there. Very, very nice. It retailed for 38. I get 10% off for being a Bray season ticket holder. So that bumped it down to 3420 then you add sales tax back that bumps it to let's see 
receipt's kind of hard to read. It looks like they bumped it back to 38.25. No, that's not right. It's 36.25. Okay, yeah. Receipt's kind of hard to read. It's it's kind of like all like blurred right there. But anyways, very cool pickup. If you're in the Atlanta area, if you don't live here, I suggest go by there. They're open, I believe, seven days a week. Um, they got a lot of cool stuff. You can go find some really good deals and stuff, especially if they ever like trade a player or anything. It's almost like ASAP. Their stuff goes on sale like dirt cheap just to move it. So that's always a plus whenever you come to collecting stuff. But uh, I hope everybody liked the video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace.